So the other excuse that I hear all the time is, oh, we tried being a vegetarian, just didn't work for us. We, you know, we're on that blood diet, you know, we have to eat meat. Well, I have to say to you that this is 2012, things are changing. If people haven't been able to switch over to a kind of diet, it usually means that they haven't really understood nutrition. It's not peanut butter on toast. It's not chocolate, chocolate, although, you know, that's pretty cool. It's about nuts and seeds and vegetables and fruit. And quite frankly, that's the lighter diet that we need to be on now. And please don't tell me that that, that diet does not suit humanity because go and look at the vegan bodybuilders. Go and check out the 70-year-old who looks like a glamour queen. Of course, I extend this to the animals and people, people really react to that. I have dogs who are on a really healthy diet. They're vital. They're not consuming the flesh of somebody who's been killed in fear. They've got their supplements and I've got a whole lot of resources on my website. I've got, you know, veterinary testing, you know, the oldest, one of the oldest living dogs was a vegan. Lentils, rice and vegetables. 27, English rescue dog called Bramble. And there's even been cats who have been vegetarian. A big lioness, Little Tyke. And I talk about this in my book, Secret Animal Business. Little Tyke chose to be a vegetarian. Her best friend was Becky the lamb. She grazed in the paddocks. Now, the Bible talks about this. I'm not a religious person, but the Bible talks about this as sort of what the new age is going to look like. Deep peace for all species. When we stop being predators, the animals will stop being predators. It's the way of metaphysics. We're taking a quantum leap in evolution. That's what the 2012 phenomenon is about. So please put aside all your resistance and start to think about a new way of being. Creativity and courage are the ways of the future. We have to be innovative. We have to think, how can we live a better way? Because the old way is le leading us to destruction. We're killing the planet and we're killing ourselves. There's more cancer now. There's more depression. Our way of living is not very good. So why do we keep doing it? We have to change. How can we say we love animals when we're killing them? Oh yes, we're, we're a nation of animal lovers. We love our animals, oh yes. No, we don't. We kill them in horrified. We go hunting, we do this, we do that. We're not an, a nation of animal lovers, you know? And all over the world, this is the same. So we have to shift if we, the new era is about love. It is about walking the heart-centered way. The heart-centered way. We have to have deep peace for all species. And let me just put that, for those of you who don't understand the 2012 phenomenon, this is 2012. 2012 is not a date. The end of the Mayan calendar, that's nothing. Absolutely nothing. Well, you know, it is something because it's an amazing astrological lineup at that time. But the point of 2012 phenomenon is the fact that we've been under pressure to change. The earth is shifting. We're shifting. We're growing up. We have an opportunity to start all over again, to live a life that is going to be sustainable for our children's children. In fact, not only sustainable, but magical. With getting back our sacred connections to nature and to the animals. To live in harmony and to walk alongside them. To become human angels, light, luminous beings on this earth. This is why the vegan movement and the, which is non-violent, that's, that's what it means. 
Although you do get a lot of angry vegans, I know that, because they're upset. But let's look at it. It's beautiful food that's healthy and it's non-violent. So let's look at that. And usually you'll find that the people who are attracted to that are being responsible. They're trying to do what they can to help the planet. So we have this huge, great big sort of non-violent, green, sustainable movement that's just bubbling up as the rest of the world crumbles. We are in a time of social revolution. We thought 60s was an interesting time. You'll see this year is going to see a lot of change. And that is what the 2012 phenomenon is about. It's about a time of social revolution and human evolution.